Two of Coronation Street's most strong-willed characters, it's fair to say. Yes, at least we tried. I don't recall you making any contribution. Because I was designated as writer down. Uh, you designated yourself. Yes, and now we know why. Next time, one of us will do the writing. No, there won't be a next time. If I've learned one thing from this, it's why hairdressers only ever talk about weather and holidays. Oh. <laughs> well, teaming up for a cause close to their hearts, Maureen Lipman and Rula Lenska join me now. It's so good to see you two. And good to see you. I love your characters in Corrie, because that's why we love Corrie so much. It's these amazing, strong, feisty, take-no-nonsense women. That's Power right. to the women. Absolutely. That's what it's all about. Yes. So, look, joining forces, that's formidable. And it's all about World Animal Day. Why did you want to get involved in that, both of you? Well, I love all animals, with the possible exception of jellyfish and mosquitoes. Right. And I think that's I... very hard on, on the poor <laughs> mosquitoes. What have you ever done? I've got to say some <laughs> oh, straight things. stuff, OK? Yes, go on, Before say we straight start stuff. the comedy Yeah, movie. no, go on. <laughs> um, and I, this charity, Nature Watch, wants to improve the status of all animals worldwide. Right. And uh, it's tomorrow which is the anniversary of St Francis of Assisi, who was the patron saint of all oh, animals. OK. So... That makes sense. Yeah? Makes perfect sense. So far, she's making a lot of sense, <laughs> isn't she? Go on. Um, I've been passionate about animals yeah. all my life, always had rescue animals, and I also work as hard as I can for the big beasts in the jungle, all of whom are in danger of yeah. extinction, and all of whom suffer at the hands of man. That's a great photograph of you there with the elephants uh, getting up yes, close to the elephants. Yes, that was recently at an elephant sanctuary in Thailand, started by this amazing lady called Lek. And to see these elephants who'd been abused, logging and street begging, it's just horrible. being free and allowed yeah. to be an elephants. Where that's to be? one of my adopted babies in Africa. Oh, <laughs> gorgeous. She actually, the elephant had her head in its mouth. I've seen that. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> But uh, my <laughs> ex-husband said that's the most ecstatic look he's ever seen on my face. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no, Ten it's... minutes on that one. But we really, we really do have to do something. I mean, we, 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 do. we do. I mean, I'm lucky enough. I've been to Africa and Asia and seen some of these animals in close up, and it's extraordinary. It's very moving, it's very emotional, and, and all of that. And why people want to shoot them, I've got no idea, except with a camera. It doesn't make any sense to me. And it's important, isn't it? It really and is important. And, you know, we as tourists can do so much by not going to places where animals are made to perform sure. for our no, enjoyment. I hate that. I hate it's, it. And it now, really thank me. God, you know, you no longer ride on elephants. You no, no longer walk, walk into the water and shower them and feed them sticky buns and stuff like that. They are allowed to be elephants, and I think mm. that's really important. But there are lots of ways that people can get involved. Mm. You know, adopting, uh, sponsoring, um, fun walks, stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, you can that. do Just lots of things. Because sometimes you think to yourself, okay, I'm only one person, I can't make any difference. What can I do? Oof. There's lots you can do, isn't there? There's lots. Absolutely. <laughs> you can adopt a dog. You yeah, know, you can or a go cat. To, uh, we've got a rescue, uh, as well as a pedigree, and my right. goodness me. Mongrels are good. They are. They're <laughs> great dogs. They really are. Yeah. I mean, if you, if you get the right owner, it's all about the, it's all about looking at the right end of the leash, isn't it? When it comes to dogs. And can't you tell when you see the owner and the dog? You can tell. Yeah, they're yeah. often yeah. so alike. Mm, <laughs> Not that. naming any my, names. My dog is. <laughs> you, well, you're both divas, aren't yes, you? Yes, <laughs> she's called Diva, and she's a very Jewish dog. That's all I can say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The other day, Maureen sent me. Um, a video of her dog being carried in a sort of papoose, because it's quite an old elderly oh. dog, and yeah. sitting with her paws <laughs> on her yeah. his shoulder. Loves it. Loves being high up, looking oh, down. Oh, well, yeah. of course, and yeah. why not? Yeah. And you two, you stay together, don't you, when you're filming? We're flatmates yeah. now, yeah. Well, almost husband and wife. Almost really. husband, husband and wife, husband. yes. But I get the good deal because uh, uh, Ruler arrives with trunks, <laughs> nothing to do with the elephant bit. <laughs> she arrives with, you know, drapes and candles. They're called wraps. And cushions, actually. wraps, call it what you like. <laughs> she, she decorates. You know. I arrive with a backpack without a dog in it. And she likes to cook and clean. Oh, and I, well, you like, I to like to cook to sit as well. down. No, it's no, you like to cook. Perfect. And regale me with your funny experiences. <laughs> we, I have to say, we love an awful lot. Yeah, it I'm is really weird that this town time of our lives that we've found each other. Yes. Isn't that great, though? <laughs> but, you know, because you always yeah. think to yourself that you meet your pals, you know, either at school or at university or college yeah. or work or whatever, and it's brilliant when you get older and you meet a soulmate, yeah. or you meet somebody you just click with, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. Although she can yeah. be quite scary. Yeah. You know, because she's so clever. 
Very. She really is. Very. Lots and lots Onwards. of different levels. <laughs> Onwards. Are talking. you enjoying Cody, though, the yeah. two of you? I mean, cause, yeah, because your characters are really good. They're really mm. fun. We've got a bit coming up soon, which, which is the two. We haven't had much together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got a bit coming up soon. But, yes, for me, it's kind of like coming home because, you know, Jack wrote episode 13. Oh, did you my late husband. husband. Yeah. Yep. And, uh, and he told me that Tony Warren rang him up after the first episode and said, what do you think? And Jack said, it's brilliant. And he said, never mind you, what does your mother think? <laughs> and that's that, the excitement oh, of that's... that first seeing people who talk like us. Yeah. Ina in the shop, yeah. packing them in lumps in a bag. <laughs> and it's bringing... Really fast. When you watch the old it's really quick, so isn't it? so fast. Yeah, really fast. Yeah. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, it's, it's like I just changed agents when I got this job. And, and she said to me, how would you feel about this? I said, I feel great. Yeah. Let's go for it. And to be nominated as best newcomer after 52, <laughs> 52 years in the business. Is that what I'm going to say so? Your it's best like newcomer? It's giving my little pony to Lester Piggott, isn't it? You know, <laughs> it's just <laughs> extraordinary. Back to animals, you. Horses. <laughs> yes, horses. They, they're, they're good. <laughs> Carry on. It's and, true. of course, the other thing I wanted to say is animals give us so much pleasure. Of course they do, absolutely. I mean, not just pets, but the companion animals mm. who are trained to look after people who are blind, who are deaf. We I've have had... one in Coronation Street, don't we? Yes. We have Annie. Yeah. And yeah. they are extraordinary. Oh, and you've got Eccles, little border teddy, which yeah. is the same as my wee dog. And, and, and Cerberus. I've got Cerberus, but he only appears very fleetingly. Cerberus. Yes, we often wonder together what happens to them when they're not on camera. <laughs> Liver. They're being pampered in their Winnebago, that's where they are. <laughs> Liver in my sleeves. And the, you know, in, Rubbed got... on your ankles. Yeah. So the wee dog will come and, come and do it. Yeah. So, look, I loved you. There's two things that I love both of you were in. Rock Follies, which was amazing, amazing. And agony. Why have they not been back on the telly? Both of them. It's Both of these really shows because they're cracking. Extraordinary. Shows, which agony I think will hold up. Was like when there was the first time you saw two normal gay people. I think on television. Do you know you're and absolutely so right. A lot of people really, really remember that. Jeez, There's a right. reason why it's not ever been shown again. And I'd like to know what it is. <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> Nobody it knows. Was really well, great. in the same reason Rock Follies you, was never shown. Yeah, yeah, which was a brilliant series. But you're right about Agony, because before that, there was this kind of, like, the gay caricature, if there you was, like. Uh, they were just I'm two free. guys. Yeah, they were just yeah. two guys who happened to be gay. And that, yeah. was, that was absolutely groundbreaking. Mm, right, OK, let's start a campaign to get them both back. Yeah. But as well nice. as that... We'll, well, have... I've, we're angling for a series together, actually, aren't we? That'd be ridiculous. <laughs> yes, that would work. Yes. That would work. Cool girl. Oh, we cool girl. Girl. Yeah. World yeah. Animal Day tomorrow. Mm -hmm. It is tomorrow. Tomorrow, and, and uh, we can all do our bit. involved. There's absolutely. lots and lots of different so you ways. You save the pangolin. <laughs>